Hello, my morning talk show today. We are going to just visit and I'm going to show you a few things around the house. So that's what it's going to be today. But I was looking at one of my videos I made when we were planting the tulips and I was groveling on the cement on the ground and the camera with Jamie had it and I like, it looked like I had a bald spot on the top of my head. So I had to investigate because I didn't want to have a bald spot. But what I think it is, is when the gray hair coming in and then it makes it look like my scalp right here, like, you know? So I don't really think I'm going bald. I just need to spray paint it right here so the white won't show. And when I dye it, I need to make sure I put the dye in this part good. Oh, gosh. And then I need to, like, you know, wrap my hair good right here so that the hair will stay over and then hairspray it so that it won't look like a bald spot. Heaven forbid if they think I'm old with the bald spot. Not, I mean, you know, just because I know when we're old, we'd start losing our hair. Oh, such a worry. Okay, so um, today I had to, be, I was in my, I didn't, wasn't even dressed yet, in my pajamas, doing my diamond art forever. And I finally had to just make myself get up and get busy. The dog slobbered on me. I'm getting ready to go somewhere. Tilly, stop slobbering on me. Okay, so um, what else do we want to talk about? Um, the sun is out and it's getting a little warmer. Not warm enough, but I hope it's warm enough to uh, melt some of the snow. Even though we did have a skiff of snow last night again. All right, I'm going to go downstairs now and show you some things that I told you I would show you. So today's a good time to show you. Because um, I know that I have nothing else to show you or talk about. I do. I could talk forever. But I have a purpose. I put my little doll right here on this bench. Isn't she cute sitting there? And here's the dog's bed up here. Okay. So... All right, I'm going down the stairs. I need to change the color of my lights here because St. Patrick's Day is over. But I don't know which, I have all these remotes to change these lights. Let's do this. All right, do I want red? Is that it? No, I don't want red. Just have white. These lights aren't as deluxe. Some of them will make pink and stuff. Okay. So, this painting right here is my girl's. It was their father's, and it was painted by a Chinese artist. Whippo Wang or something, I don't know. Anyway, I am so glad that we got it before he died, or I wouldn't have ended up with it. But there's only one painting and two girls, so which girl gets it? They're going to have to, like, trade off, I guess. You get it this year, I'll get it next year. I don't know what they're gonna do, but it's theirs. And then I have this picture of just my grandchildren, but it's old now and Credence isn't in it because he wasn't born yet. And now all these kids are big and grown and getting married and I'll probably never get them again because this girl and this one and this one live in Michigan, these kids. So, they won't come out. The parents are coming out, but they probably won't come out because they're grown. All right. <coughs> <coughs> this is my credenza. It's real solid wood. Really good wood. And I found it on the side of the road. And it was free. And so I brought it home. I had to go get help because it's real heavy. And down under there, I have the dolls that I bought 
off of Temu for twelve ninety five, and I'm selling them. I have two people coming to get them. So I brought them down here to have them handy. So they're not usually there, but anyway, this credenza was free and I refinished it. And it is like the nicest piece of furniture ever. And I don't know what you call it, but it matches my mirror up here. And some of the stuff you get on the side of the road is good. And this elephant vase, when we die, Trevor spoke, he, want, he spoke for it, he wants it. But it was Pier 1 and it was like almost $300 to buy it, so it's beautiful. And this was a piece of wood that we got in Crescent City, California. And then you buy these slabs. What kind of wood is it, Jamie? Redwood. It's a redwood slab. And then Jamie went to Palisades Dam and got the tree trunk that has, you know, washed up along the shoreline. And he cut it the right length. And then I sanded it all and made this table right after we got married. So it's like 29 years old. And you can see it's kind of scuffed at the bottom. But if you want furniture to last, get it out of trees. Because I've had grandkids climbing on this and everything, and they can't even hurt it. And so it's flat on that one side, so it fits perfect against the couch or wherever. And we kind of like nature in our house, as you can tell with the plants. If you haven't seen this, I made a video once and showed everybody this in the living room here. I, they, these plants love these windows right here that we have. And <coughs> so we kind of just have the whole rustic, I don't know what it's called. Cause then I have these furs for the arm protectors cause grandkids like to wipe their hands, I swear on my couches. And remember I got this from Ross, that big rug. And I said I was gonna cut it in two for each couch. And so it's working out quite nicely. And Jamie's laying on the other couch and taking a nap. Here's a Timu pillow cover. And I got this Timu rug because Jamie is, uh, tracks in. Here's his chair and his nest over there. You don't even want to see it. I don't want to show it. His fan. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you is our kitchen table. Well, first of all, this floor is, Jamie did the tile work. And he made it look like an oriental rug with the trims and how he cut it to fit. But this table he had when I married him and it has two more leaves so it gets real big. Solid wood, really good quality. He bought, he found more chairs at the furniture store to match. But the cushions were like beige, spilled on, cruddy, horrible, horrible. So I took, you can take these off. You just turn your chair over and they're screwed in. You unscrew them and you just put the new fabric on and staple it and put them back on and you have good chairs. And I've, this, this upholstery fabric's been good because we've had all these kids on it for years and it's been good. But people come sometimes with their children and they put the little child on those chairs. And I go, no, 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 no. I used to have this stool. Jamie made these stools years ago. And look how cruddy they are. We need to refinish them, but he has two of them. And these are for the children that are like two and three to sit on to eat. Then if they spill, you just wipe it off. You don't put them on my cloth chair that they could you know, and these are higher too. So that's the perfect chair he made for his kids. And I'm worried about when I go on vacation because my petunia, my flowers here, I usually have a lot more outside, but this is the flowers that survived because I brought them in. And when we go on vacation to Oregon, they'll probably end up dying then because who's gonna water them? and clip them, deadhead them and stuff. I just don't want the red one to die. It's in this big, big pot that I put out by the pool because it matches the pool. So, now I want to leave.
and come back and have the snow be gone. But um, it's still big piled up. I need to wash my windows. It's warming up, so I'll be able to go outside and wash them. And our patio out here, our deck. This is, I can't wait to have our barbecues out here again. And all my furniture, some of it's under there. But um, look at how deep the snow is. So this is the cold side of the house. So this is the last of the snow that will leave. But it's dripping, it's melting, see? It is melting and my husband needs to put those boards back up there so that I can let Tilly out up there. But we can't open our bedroom door up there because of the snow, the roof fell, the snow fell. I want Tilly to go run and play a little because she needs to exercise. She just sits by me the whole time. She needs to go exercise. We live far from the highway down there, so. And this over here is horrible because we put everything over here, a clutter bug. But this stool, I love it in the summertime because those are my pool towels under there. And then this stuff isn't usually here. It's on the table. You my, look, we still have a pumpkin that he grew, one of these. Why is he keeping it? Is it rotten? No. <coughs> It's his decoration, and this is an invention of his, of something that's like a, a physics concept or something. And look, somebody left their football here. And these silverwares are supposed to be on the table. And he's paying his bills there. Jamie, don't forget your bills to pay. So... Yes, my vacuum. I'm going to vacuum. I vacuum this floor, so I'm getting ready to vacuum it, and I need to mop, which I will this afternoon. But I wanted to show you these things, because then I can have it be my morning talk show, my Easter bunnies. I got the big one years ago at the grocery store was selling them, <clears throat> and I loved it, but I was too poor to buy the boy and the girl. So I could only get the girl one. And then I only had the one for years. And then last year, Family Dollar, after Easter, I got those other two bunnies. They're regularly $5 and I got them for like $2. And so now she has children. I don't know who the father is because we don't have a dad, but she had children. She adopted them, I guess. And then of course, here are the Timu bunnies and how can you tell that the people are old that live in your house when they have stuff like this around i bought the foot massager for jamie because it is neuropathy <clears throat> but he doesn't like it it hurts his feet so here it is and who uses it the grandkids come and they fight over who's going to do it but i'm ready to take my easter stuff down now and i have my easter tree over there with the easter so I mean, after Easter, Monday, I'll be taking it down and not have a tree there anymore because we went through Christmas, Valentine's Day tree, and an Easter tree. I'm not having a pink tree to be the 4th of July tree, so I'll be taking all that down and having a different look, which I'll be glad. Back to beige. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Jamie, I got your feet in the picture. He doesn't care. So it's kind of cloudy day, but the sun peeps through. And my chandelier hasn't been cleaned ever. How am I gonna clean it? And those windows up there need washed. I could wash the inside, but what's that gonna do? You gotta wash the outside. If you want clean windows, you gotta wash those sides. He had scaffolding that he hung those curtains up there for me. How many feet up there is that? 22? 20 feet to the curtain top rod. 20 feet. He had to special order these windows, like for buildings. These are the kind of windows that, um, you know, downtown 
big buildings have. We had to order them special. Those windows, we had to order special. That's what I'm telling them. Well, and those up there too, because they're out of slant. One of them broke. Which broke? One of those broke, we had to replace it. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, I remember. One of these down here did too. Well, he was mowing the lawn and a rock shot through one of these windows, remember? But I think it was one of, one of these. But anyway, we had to have it replaced. There's always something, upkeep on houses. So, um, I wouldn't recommend if you're designing a house to have these kind of windows. It sucks, it really sucks. Well, in the one design of the house, the balcony. I know, but we don't need to talk about that because this is what this house is. And you can't wash the windows. You can't, how am I going to wash the curtains ever? I have to, that? probably the dog. And then we can't. I think it's a big chunk of ice just fell off. Well, maybe. And the cold air, if you sit on that couch, you just feel the cold air from those windows. And they're all double paned windows. But there's a lot of cold air comes in through windows. But then also, the solar heat, there's a lot of warm air that comes through the windows, too. The sun shines, it heats it up. In here. Heats it up in here, yeah. So, and this his rocking chair, recliner, lift chair. He put a swivel on it at the bottom. So rebuild, you could... I rebuild it into a swivel chair. He, you could turn it. But what it did was make it high. And he's taller than me, but I hate sitting in it because it's too tall a chair for me. But it reclines and swivels. And if you are if you can't get up, it will lift you right up out of the chair and throw you on the ground slowly. Like somebody's at the door and ringing the doorbell and he's like, just a minute. Because it takes so long for the chair to get up in right, the right position again. Yeah, I know. And these are just those kind of blinds. We don't really need to do, um, what's it called? Window coverings. I have them here I could put down too, but nobody can see. Don't worry, I've experimented. Nobody can see in the house unless they're right out here on the grass. The road down here, when they drive by, we can't see the road, but well, if the snow wasn't there, but they can't see into the house windows, the kitchen windows. And I'm not, I don't think I've ever been naked in the kitchen. What? Because I've never been naked in the kitchen, so they didn't see. Oh, I have you on view. <laughs> yes, I made the draperies, but because I used to make draperies for a living. And That's the second set you've made. Yeah, I used to have, because we had purple couches, plum colored and plum carpet, and this room was plum colored. But we redecorated to just have basic neutral colors now. But, so I had to get different draperies. And so I made these, because I used, I know how to do it. And we could close them if we want, but we never do. In the summertime, when the sun shines in, sometimes I've been known to close them, but really, I'm never down here much. Jamie uses this room for his room. Well, and the other day, I was trying to sleep here, and the sun was baking. You right should there. have closed them. I wanted them. to close them. But those, and those sun blinds, we could close them, but we like to look out at the pool out there. Now, some people put their pool in the backyard. Jamie puts it in the front yard because... It wasn't supposed to be a pool. It was supposed to be a pond, water feature. But nobody wants to walk through the back of the house to get to the pool. Yeah, somebody wanted to see the backyard. I'll show you. It's too snowy out there now. I can't even get out there. I have my orchard back there now. So he has a ton of fruit trees back there, and we have some garden area. But I'll show it in the summertime. And it's fenced so the deer won't eat the bark off the trees. And stuff. Well, it keeps rabbits out too. Oh, rabbits too. I didn't know that. The rabbits and the deer. Yeah. So, um, anyway, there's the other rug on that car uh, couch. Do you like it? It's soft, yeah. See? I think it's washable too. So, when you're dirty, he comes in and lays down in the afternoon, take a little nap because his heart. You know, I lay down, but I never can sleep. Especially with me around. But, 
I'm going to go somewhere, Jamie. You have to babysit the dog. You better be good. You just have to let him out once while I'm gone. I'm going to go to our temple. He's not going to go. He's not feeling energiz energetic enough. But I'll go. And this coffee table is, I hate it because it's fake. It's cheap crap. Cheap crap wood. But that, show them how it lifts up. And we love it because when we have the whole family here eating, and then they can eat there. Yeah, this can lift up like this so you can eat on it. So I like that kind of table, but we could only find a cheap crap one, not a real wood one. And you can put your junk in down under. Yeah, I'd have the holiday. That's my Valentine table thing and Christmas. But And there's some games in there. I only like a few games. Racco, Yahtzee, and that's about it. Well, but Jamie's family plays Settlers. Settlers of Catan. Is that the name of it? And, and then they, they like Royal Rummy. You say that. I've never seen you play it once. You haven't played it for a long time. No, since for 29 years. You never played it since you married me. Oh, we have to. We played it in there. I've never played it or seen anybody play it. And the couch came with those giant pillows. They're the most uncomfortable pillows in the world. But since it came with the couch, I don't feel like I could get rid of them. So those, I just store them under there. And it's perfect to store under there. All righty. I think, do you have anything else to talk about for your talk show? You can tell my husband loves elephants. And like what Tyson gave us that picture and Hillary gave us this other elephant picture. And if you're filming right, you can see that picture through the mirror. Oh yeah, there it is. And then these carved elephants he got, he traded, uh, you know, milk cans in the day. What year were milk cans? I don't know, but they're... He traded them for these elephants right here. The milk cans were worth $150 a piece. And I had to give her two a milk lady cans at the for store. the store. And then he found, I think Trevor found one when he went somewhere. Those, a those elephants were... $150 a piece. But then, uh, this is a diamond art uh, Christ picture. And so I did get something of mine in the room. I'll show them my elephant from my mom. Okay. And so we have Christ in our home because we want the light of Christ in our home and when people come here we want them to know that we're Christians and we want Christ in our home so we do not want to bring in bad spirits bad evil things all right this when, is when I was a kid my mother had this ceramic elephant and I was not allowed to play with it and one day I snuck and played with it and I broke this tusk and I inherited this elephant from my mom, but I always loved elephants, and so this was the elephant that started my elephant collection. It's ceramic. And how did she give it to you before she died, or did you just get it when she was at her house I when she died? I think she gave it to me before she died. I can see this trunk has been broke off and it's been re-glued. I know. Don't you remember? that? Was It was over here on the hearth. When we were moving in, and a grandkid got I don't know, but I don't allow the grandkids to play with this one. We have bronze ones and other ones that they can play with that they can't break. He, we one, don't let anybody play with any of them. But those two elephants on the... Who are inheriting those? I don't know, but they were carved in India, I think. Yeah. Did you put them in your will? I can't remember. I don't remember either. But we're fighting over this elephant over here. Well, the only reason I got that is because I had an elephant collection. And, then and I found it at a yard sale. The people died. And so you won't let me. <laughs> he wanted to give it to somebody that he wanted to give it to that never sees it. And I wanted to give it to one of the grandkids that come and see it all the time and used to sit on it when they were little for their memory. So... There's my tripod, my cheap tripod. And he gave me this white elephant for Christmas. And I tell, we say no more elephants. You're not gonna buy any more elephants. 
And then here came one for Christmas again. But he also has fish. Jamie, you did it again. I also have rhinos. He likes all the animals. But he looks like we've been to Africa. No, we haven't been to Africa. We have every kind of animal in here, except for cat and dog. What did I but do again? Because right above this aquarium, this plant is supposed to go over there in that corner. A plant in each corner. I know, but it's holding my lid down right there. Oh, well, I know, but that looks horrible because you're right in front of the Pier 1 fish. Well, this is what looks horrible. What? This thing sitting up there. Well, of course it does. So clean your stuff up and put that plant back in the corner. I did shove it back a bit. No, it's still off balanced. Somebody might come. You're going to kill it. They're fake. Those are fake. I could put real ones there. I did have one at one time, but they're too hard to water because I'm too short and I can't reach it. And here, look at this feature. I got that little light plug thing, light cover. And I try to keep make him keep his fish food underneath, but he won't. He just leaves it there. Feeds him. He overfeeds his fish. How many do you have now? Well, I got about 20 or 30 babies here coming up. Yeah, see, the babies live in these uh, bushes down here, little One, tiny two, babies. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, right here in this corner. Yeah. All right, I gotta go. So, end the show. The show is over. This We have algae that grows bad in this tape because of the big windows. Add the light in, which grows the algae. Well, it's a certain type of algae that's really bad. It's I don't mind other kinds of algae. Uh, the kind that's in that tank is the bad stuff. And he tries to get rid of it. I've tried okay. a hundred times to get rid of it. All right, goodbye. Have a good day. And do something good for someone else. And then you'll be happier.